Hey folks, Mark here. I'm going to start a new series about cops, like how to deal with them, how to understand what motivates them, um, how not to get shot by them, and all this other wonderful stuff that people seem to, well, they're just ignorant about it, basically. I hate to, you know, now, and by the way, coming from where I do, Ignorant to a lot of people doesn't mean, you know, all that much. they like, oh, it's naive. No, no, no. I like the uh, black culture's interpretation of it, of the word, which means it's something that you are willfully out not to learn about. So, I mean, it's not just not knowing. It's, it's not knowing with attitude. So, let me start out by saying that cops are... First and foremost, safety officers. Stop. Think about that. Their job is to ensure the safety of the public. Not the individual, but the public. The people. Um, they do that by enforcing a lot of safety laws. And there are lots of them, and I really do tend to agree with them. Um... So, safety officers are is the primary thing. It's to keep people faced. Then comes the next job, which is investigation. Now, that is actually a much bigger issue than people think. Yes, it means finding out what happened. Well, but it could also be like, say they find a body laying on, on the street. Okay. Is it natural causes? Is it a suicide? Is it a homicide? Which only means death at the hands of another person. Um, from there you get the different levels of manslaughter, murder, yada, 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 but also accident. So, you know, their job is to figure out what happened and write up paperwork. So, it is only after those two things that we run into the issue of, well, now that it is building a case for the state. And that, that's a really big shift to understand that they go from safety officers to investigation to building a case for the state. And it is basically in the process of investigating, the, the officer finds out yeah, this looks like a crime. Or they actually witness it. Like, you you know, you go speeding past a, uh, you know, a parked car that's got a cop in it. Well, guess what? He knows a crime has been committed. Now, those are pretty solid points. From that, um, from that standpoint, you also run into the many different ways that police are being used. Um, and I hate to say this. But one of the bigger problems that we face with our policing strategies is how often police are used as a form of alternative revenue generation. Basically, the government, and it doesn't matter how high or low you're talking, um, uses the police and their ability to enforce the law as a form of revenue generation. Speed trap, typical thing, parking meters, um, all of these things that, you know, yeah, there's a lot of money to be made in um, parking meters, but there's even more money to be made for par from parking tickets. So, you know, a lot of the issues that are laid at the, at the feet of the cops it are not actually the problem but kind of the result of that making money I don't know if you're aware of this but the city of Ferguson Missouri which had a terrible terrible tax base I mean there were no major chains except for Walgreens that were even bothering to have business in that city it was so bad the tax rates were awful people just I mean the company is like we can't afford to go here they're, they're left out so you know, how did Ferguson make their money? Well, 62% of the income that they had came from tickets.
came from citations, warrants, etc., etc., and fines that went into the city coffers. 62%, right? You can hear all the screams about racism, yada, 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 but the reality is, you know, if you're poor, it doesn't matter what your skin color is. This, using the cops as a form of revenue generation, and also, yeah, to keep you in line, um, you know, really does come down to how police are being used by the uh, the government. And I, it's it's bad. There's a lot of things wrong with this, and I will argue, and I will explain all the problems that go on, but... You know, oh no, it's easier just to say racism. Well, here's the thing. When dealing with the cops, understand that they're either investigating um, or building a case. And often that building a case is for revenue generation purposes. Um, you know, I got to tell you, these guys are professionals. And by that, I mean... They know stuff, and they know tricks that will stand up in court, okay, about how to argue your case against you. For example, they know that when you're speeding, right, and all of a sudden, woo, the lights go on, they know instinctively you're going to look down at the the speedometer. So you know right off the bat how fast you're going okay so when a cop walks up to you and you see your car and says good evening do you know how you know um do you know why i stopped you or they ask do you know how fast you were going that actually tells you why they're stopping you um they know you've looked they know you knew okay so If you lie to them, that starts the nature of the interaction. Okay, it's like, okay, I got a liar here. Um, One of my cheapest tickets ever, I was going 20 over the speed limit. I had Mia Copa. Um, You know, I came over the rise. There's a cop with a radar gun. He didn't even have to bother signaling me for pullovers. I just signed, pulled over. He walked up and I said, I was a bad boy. Right. Now, he asked me why. I explained international... This is at the airport, by the way. I explained international flight. Wife made me late. Had to get her to the uh, terminal. I had to get home. Yada, yada, yada. Or get back to the... (laughs) Yeah, that would have pissed the wife off. Um, I had to get back to the terminal. That's why I was speeding. And I knew I was wrong. And you caught me. Okay. And the cop was really cool about it. He says, okay, you know. Tell you what, you were doing 19 over, which 20 is mandatory arrest. And I'm like, oh, God. And he goes, but I'm only going to write you up for 10. I was like, well, thank you. And I sincerely meant it. So, first rule about dealing with the cops is if you know you're doing something wrong and you get caught, accept it, man. Just deal with it. I know, you know, I knew I was speeding. I made the choice. My call. Did I know that I wasn't supposed to speed? Duh. Um, so, you know, the thing is, people get really upset of like, well, I can't afford it. I, you know, hey, if you can't afford it, don't speed. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff that people get really, really upset, and then they try and either argue their way out of a ticket, which is, wow, that, yeah, that's not going to go over well. Um... Or they're trying to weasel their way out. Now, about the arguing. Um, Many years ago, I I failed to clear a uh, um, a stoplight because my brakes weren't that good. All right, truth of the matter is, it's like, yeah, okay, punch it. Okay, great. Guess who gets to talk to the cop? Yeah, you know, it says you didn't you didn't get out, and I said, yeah, I know, my brakes aren't so good, so. Instead of trying to stop and stopping in the middle, I just shot through, right? And he checks the brake, and they're a little squishy. Whereupon, my girlfriend starts copping an attitude. 
And she, I mean, she's not trying to argue out of it, okay? But, oh, she wants to let the cop know how much she didn't like it. And I'm going, shut up, Caitlin, shut up, shut up, shut up. And every time she kept talking, the cop kept on writing. And he was like, what about this? Ooh, that's not, you know, what about this? Nope, nope. Um, and this was like in 82, I think. That ticket ended up costing me a total of a thousand bucks, right? Because she wanted to argue. Now, I often tell people when dealing with cops, not here, not now, not you. Okay? Her insisting on arguing with the cops because of her rights, she felt it was so, you know, cost me a lot of money. Don't. I'm going to be talking a lot about how cops work, how you need to know how to play the game. And in case you're wondering, I am not a shut up and lawyer up kind of guy. I am certainly not a, you know, am I being detained that I want to see my lawyer type guy. Because, you know what, for a speeding ticket, that really is going too far. If you sped, cop, cop to it, admit it. That's the first thing. It's their job. Remember safety officers? Speed limits? They actually are there for a reason. Um, You know, if you get caught doing the dumb, which, face it, we all do. um, Okay, fine. It happens. Just accept it. Um, Don't argue it. Don't try and make it worse. Most situations with cops are easily resolved without too much fuss. When you become an asshole about it is when start things start getting ugly. And don't try and street corner lawyer it either. That's the other form that they look at and go, oh yeah, this asshole. Right? Um, not here, not now, not you. The time to argue what is happening, if you're going to argue it, which sometimes, hey, you know, they screw up. Truth. Um... You know, the time to argue is in court, not on the street corner. Now, one more thing before I go. I want to tell you, I mentioned that the cops are professionals. They are trained. They know things that you don't. Okay? Now, people talk about, well, you don't know what they know. It's like, uh, actually, you can know a lot of what they know. One of the things that they have been trained in, for example, is, have you ever been stopped by a cop? And he says, can I see your license or, or your registration? And while you're looking at it, he asks you a question about something else. Well, guess what they know that you don't? Is drunks cannot multitask. So when you're rooting through your, th- your thing and he asks you a question, he's actually checking you for sobriety. And if you cannot multitask, that indicates some type of a mental impairment. Which, in which case, why are you driving? So, yeah, that's building a case. So, we'll go into a lot more of these kind of details later. But right now, I want to just start you off with understanding safety officer, investigation, building a case. Plus the extra of revenue generation, which is going to have a major influence on your interaction with cops.